fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday, the 27th of July, 2023. We are into the second part of the week now, already. And uh, some sad news today for fans of pop music. Um, Sinead O'Connor has passed. Um, that's uh, the person who had... Uh, an, a mega hit, I guess you could say, really, of uh, a cover version of Prince's Nothing Compares to You, and um, a, a kind of a great rendition that was loved across the world. I don't know much about her, I must admit. Uh, I've not kind of followed her music or anything like that. Um, but reading about her life story today it was uh, a very sad, um, sad situation. Apparently her son uh, committed suicide. Her her, her the cause of death was not actually reported, so I'm not sure why, but she was younger than me, and whenever I see people younger than me dying, that always makes me feel bad. Uh, they haven't lived a full life yet. So, anyway, sad news for fans of pop music. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. This is the Guardian's hard-level game, first of the week. Um, shall we get on? I can see some a couple of things already, but I'll tell you one thing I can see. I can see the seven, this seven blocking those squares there, seven blocking here and seven blocking across here it means that I'm going to start by putting the seven there. I saw other things too, for example, the, oh, um, oh first of all, wait a minute, since I'm doing the sevens, I should continue. Uh, sevens block like that, so... Um, that is going to put seven there and then seven across and across here with these going up. I actually didn't need that one other one across, did I? That's okay though. Uh, I can finish the sevens even because we're going to go seven down here and now the last one should be up here. Seven across there. I think that's the last one, yes. Now I think eights also look pretty good good way a good way to begin we've got eights across here and down there so that's going to be an eight there and yes I knew I saw another one somewhere there it is eights going down there's an eight there and eight across and across here and down and down here yep that's the eights out of the way seven and eight are out of the way now um, right, let's begin. I didn't really, haven't really looked at the grid except for I just I spotted those pretty quickly. Um, right, we have six blocking this square, and so in this row that must be where the six appears. Now we've got six down here and six across here. We're just going to put a six into that square, then six across here and across here was going to give us a six. There, I hear my stomach rumbling. It must be breakfast time. I'd forgotten to eat to eat breakfast six, like so. Never mind. It doesn't look like we're going to be stuck for too long on this game. Uh, if it continues as is, we have one blocking down here, which is going to put one into that square. We have ones down to the bottom here and across there, which will give us a one in that square. Uh, one missing number here, which is a four. Let's put the four in. And one missing number here, which is a nine. Let's fill in the nine. And now uh, we have one and nine in these squares here, one and nine has to be here and here. Uh, so that means over here we're looking for two and something. So when I see the two blocking there, I know that that's going to be the two. And then the something will not be one or nine and therefore must be a three. Uh, okay, we'll finish off this block here with a five, shall we? Um, and uh, what goes over here? This was one and nine, so we're looking for two. A uh, one, no, one nine. So we're looking for two, three, four. I think, aren't we? The two, three, four here. Okay. Uh, right. Um. Uh, 
Okay, we have 3 blocking this square, and we have 3 blocking this square. So in this column up here, that's got to be a 3. Four blocks across here and four blocks up there, so that's going to give us four. Hmm. I hear activity outside. People greet my neighbor greeting visitors. We have two blocking this square here, so in this column that's our two. Uh, and then we're going to finish off here with a five. We still need a 5 to finish this column here as well. Uh, and what's left in this block? What goes here? 2 and something, 2 and... 2 and 3. So we've got 3 blocking across here. So here's our 3, there's our 2 now. Uh, missing numbers here are 9 and something, 9 and 4. So if this is 4 and 9, that's 4 and 9, okay, da, 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 da. Well, I've spotted 3 and 5 blocking up here with a 3 and 5 blocking across. So I can see that these squares are 3 and 5 only. That might help. I don't know. Let's see if it does. Uh, what does it mean? Well, it means that 1 has to appear in this right-hand section here. We've got 1 blocking up here. So 1 will appear here, right, down here. So blocking back down here. And we've got a 1 blocking across here. In other words, this has to be a 1. So let's finish this row now with uh, a 9. And uh, now, what did I just work out? What, what, what? I forgot what it was again. Um, what did I find across here? 5 and 3, wasn't it? 5 and 3 blocking up here, 5 and 3 blocking across here. So these squares are 5 and 3. So when we see the 9 blocking up here, we know that that has to be the location of 9. And then we can say 9 across here and across here and up here means that that will be our 9. And then 9 is going downwards will give us 9 in this square. Oh, sorry, wrong key. 9 in this square. Um, can't finish off the 9s just yet, though. But in this column here, it looks like we're missing uh, 2 and 4. So when I see the 4 blocking there, I know that that's going to be the 4. And this is going to be the 2. Hmm, sounds to be very noisy outside today. Seems to be the sound of industry, people banging things. I'm not sure if they're actually doing anything, just banging things maybe. Uh, back up here, so now I, again, <laughs> 5 and 3 in these squares, so we're looking for 1, 2 here, so 2 is blocking across like that, so that's going to be our 2, and this will be 1 and 6, I guess, so 6 blocking across there, that will be our 6, and this will be our 1, and then we need a 1 at the end of this row, and we also have 1 blocking down here and 1 across there, that's going to give us 1 final digit one actually in that square there um, four blocks down here that means you must be a four my friend four blocks across here it means you're a four here and fours across and across and down here will give us a four in that square four up here four down there there's a four um, we're just looking for a nine to finish this block here let's compare the nines across there there we go over here what do we need a five yes and uh, so five blocks across here like that that means that's a five five bashing up there will give us a five there 
last number here is a three. Three blocks across here and up there. That means this is a three. Uh, we also have three blocking down here, so let's get our final three there. Here we're looking for a two. Uh, we also need a two to complete that block. And now this is a five for the row and a six for the grid. That's it. Thank you very much. Not all hard. Even easier than yesterday's medium level, I think. Bye-bye.